I have a few pipes that uh, need some TLC. I'm going to be sending these off to my buddy Eric and he is going to uh, take care of cleaning these up for me. So let's take a look at what we got real quick here. Uh, let's see. First of all, whoa, whoa, whoa. first of all, we got this little gem. This is a Ben Wade. Uh, if you can see here, come on, Ben Wade. This was actually purchased brand new at uh, Strauss. It's unsmoked. It's a brand new pipe. Uh, it's just it's been sitting in their showcase for a while, so the uh, stem uh, could just use a little cleaning up. I think you can maybe even make out down here on the bottom where the price tag sticker was. So yeah, that just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, uh, buffed up on the stem. Uh, next, I have this is an estate pipe that I picked up at Carousel and. This is a nice little Peterson sitter. Uh, I think this is actually a replacement stem. The stem looks uh, not too bad, actually. It's uh, uh, pretty, pretty slick looking. But uh, you can see the, you know, the bowl itself needs to be cleaned up, and you can see the uh, cake down in there. Uh, good, quite a bit of cake in there. So that that needs a good uh, once over. Then these two here, these are actually from my own personal collection. These were, I bought these brand new at the time, but that was, oh, I don't know, 15 years ago or some craziness. So uh, these, you know, of course, there's not nearly as much uh, cake. I, I tend to keep my the inside of my bowls pretty cleaned out, so... Uh, but this is just, you can see, like, the oxidation, oxid, oxidization on here. Um, they, it's just, they're just, they, I've had them for so long. And I've had, like, the softy bits up on the top. You can see, like, kind of the, uh, from where the softy bits were and a little bit of chatter. Uh, also on this one, this is a limerick. Uh, this one... When I bought this, it was brand new, but it's gotten some good use and could stand a little once over. Uh, again, inside, there's not really a whole lot of cake. I'm not too worried about the inside of these two. Um, but lastly, this is actually, this one here is pretty much the whole reason I'm sending these to him. This one just came in the mail today. I got this on eBay for a song really um, this is a Peterson um, Sherlock Holmes the Squire uh, you can see it's been kinda let's focus focus there we go it's been dinged up a little bit which you know is fine especially at the price I got this for I don't mind that too much at all but you can see the Stem, definitely the uh, discoloring from the oxidation on the stem. And the bowl. I mean, hold a flashlight on my mouth. Look at the cake in that thing. So this definitely needs a good, uh, good overhaul. So, so that's that. Packing these five gems up. And uh, sending them off to Eric. And I'll do a follow-up video here to add on to this when they get back and show you show you what they look like once he's given it a little uh, little TLC. All right, we'll see you guys. I got a package today, and as you've already watched the first half of the video, I'm sure it's no surprise what was in the package. Um, however, um, Eric likes to dress things up a little bit with his presentation, so I've taken out of the package the contents which he has put in this very fancy Macanudo cigar box. Very cool, Eric. And let's take a look inside. Macanudo. And look at that. All nice and wrapped up in a nice black cloth let's uh, open this up and see what we got guys
right. Uh, he did send me a picture already, so I've, I've gotten a look at these on uh, on a picture. But uh, wow, very cool. Excellent job, Eric. This is really, really, really cool. Let's take a look at these. Okay, first we will open up the uh, Ben Wade, and the reason I'm doing this one first is because this one needed the least amount of work. Um, it was a brand new pipe right off the shelf from Strauss, but it had been sitting in their showcase, uh, so the stem was a little bit oxidized. But you can see here, I mean, he you can see a reflection in that stem. So that's just really, really, really nice. Beautiful. Good job. Thank you, Eric. And then, um, let's see, we had, this was the next one. This was uh, part of my collection originally. And I'll do so. I, I took some before pictures, so I'll do some before and after pictures here at the end of the video. But that stem, again, I mean, that looks brand new, you know. And the way that it was looking when I sent it to him, uh, just gorgeous. Very nice job, Eric. Uh, the bowl, I don't think, in this one really uh, required a whole lot. Um, this was just from my own personal use and I tried to not let a uh, real big cake build up on them. Let me grab my flashlight here. Uh, but in the bowl in there, you know, it's he got it pretty much almost down to bare briar. So, alright, that's that one. Then this one has been sitting on our shelf for a little bit. Uh, this was an estate pipe that I picked up um, at Carousel in Cincinnati, and they do uh, they do estate pipes there. Uh, Strauss doesn't deal with estate pipes, but this is uh, I've got over here. This one actually probably could use some work with a stem on this one, uh, but this is a matching. There, it's a 306. Uh, it's a Peterson sitter, so. Um, but this one, I mean, you can see, you'll see the cake in the pictures afterward, but look at this. If you look inside here, again, pretty much almost down to the bare briar. Very, very, I mean, it's, I stick my hand in there, it's, it's, I stick my finger in there, it's smooth. Really, really nice. Excellent work. And then... <laughs> the Big Mac Daddy. This was my gem that I found on eBay. Um, now this is... You can tell it's been beat up a little bit, so you know I got it at a pretty good price, but still... Uh, I mean, for the condition that it was in, he, he said this one was a, a bugger to, to get done. And... Wow. You look inside there again pretty much to the bare briar. Um, I mean it's and it's smooth too. I mean he he must have sanded this out real good. Um, I mean it feels like a brand new pipe. He also said that there was so much cake inside even he had to get in here in the mortise with a uh, drill bit to get out the I don't know if you can see I put a light through there, like you can kind of see through there that that's pretty much cleaned out. Very, very nice. Excellent job. Let's see, see in the bowl there also. Very cool. Well, thank you, Eric. Very, very good work. Um, he uh, he said, you know, he's he he does do refurb stuff, re uh, cleaning up stuff, uh, buffing out stems or whatever. Uh, if you've got something, I mean, you'll see the before and after picture of this one. Um, if you got something that needs some work, I'm gonna put his link to his channel down below. 
uh, just get in touch with him on YouTube and I'm sure he'll uh, he's very reasonable with his prices so uh, just let him know what you got and he'll, he'll be more than happy to uh, work with you and hook something up so all right that's about it I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up so I can snap a couple pictures and put this video together and get this up so you guys can take a look at this but I'm very excited about this I'm How's it look? How's it look, baby? It looks very, very nice. Yeah. I know a certain Australian who's going to be relatively uh, <laughs> envious. <laughs> hey, Glenn, what do you think of my bulldog? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until next time. Mm, smoke them up. <laughs>